Um, well, Everywhere Nowhere is a, a project that I've been uh, developing and, and trying to get made for quite a long time. It's just a project that I had sort of bubbling along, uh, you know, uh, while I was doing other things. And um, as it sort of, you know, as time went on, I started feeling that there was a need to, to make a film which represented second and se uh, third generation Asians in a realistic way uh, and, and portray young Asians as like regular people who, you know, hang out, they go out, they're friends, they chat up women, they drink, you know, just portray them as normal people rather than as terrorists, which is kind of what we've seen a lot of. So the longer it went on, the more I just felt I, I've got to get this film out because actually now is a time when no one else is doing it and there's clearly a, a, an appetite for this and there's an audience for this. So that's essentially what I set off to do. And, um, and, and the idea of using a DJ as a character you know, it was very much wanted to make a story, which was a coming of age story about a guy who was at, at sort of a, a decision point in his life, you know, coming up to the end of, or in the middle of his, his college years, where he's got to decide which way he's going to go. He's still young enough to be impulsive, to not, you know, be thoughtful of what he's trying to do. And, and so hence, you know, creating a story which took place over a weekend, which essentially changes this guy's life. Um, what was it about James that you thought would make him right for the role? Well, clearly he's one of the ugliest people I've seen. Mm, so <laughs> that, that struck me immediately when, when he walked in the room. I was like, right, this guy's, you know, uh, right for radio, but maybe not for um, TV. It was film. originally a radio play. But, yeah. <laughs> um, but then as soon as we got him on camera, um, you know, he... Uh, he delivered the goods, and um, yeah, like I said before, he, you know, I put him through his paces uh, during the casting process, and uh, he came through it, and uh, was, you know, obviously the top of the pile to play this role. And uh, you have to get your clothes up quite a bit because you have to like give him a body audition. <laughs> yeah, well, that was the last audition. Uh, he invited me around to his flat. He uh, turned the lights down low, played some Bob Marley, and uh, he massaged me. Okay. It wasn't actually me part? massaging you, by the way. Who was that? <laughs> That's how I got the part. And there was a couch and it said casting yeah. on it. Straight yeah. Away. It was actually Mitch. He <laughs> <laughs> okay, was our security guy. <laughs> 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 um, so, James, I've heard before that you've turned down quite a lot of roles because maybe they were too um, stereotypically Asian. Mm. Um, what was it about this role that made you think it was, it was right? Mm. I haven't turned down a huge amount, but I've just, I think um, a lot of the scripts that I've read that come my way that have involved, especially Muslims, um, have been, in my opinion, very stereotypical and a bit archaic mm -hmm. and often have touched on issues like terrorism too often and in not a particularly interesting way. Not always, but a lot of the time. Yeah. The reason that this was, was different, I think, I don't think the U UK cinemas have seen a character like this who essentially is <coughs> British Asian but is much more heavily leaning on the British side than the Asian side, you know, in the kind of traditional sense. Um, Ash is a very proud Londoner, and, you know, he is from everywhere and nowhere. He's, he's culturally confused, you know. Um, but I do think that, you know, that is something that a lot of people can relate to, especially in the UK, you know, because it is such a melting pot here, you know. And that's essentially what the movie's about. It's about identity. You know, when you strip it down, it's about finding yourself and, you know, he's trying to think, well, who, who am I? You know, if I'm, if my parents are Pakistani Muslim, does that mean I'm more Pakistani than Britain? But, but yeah, I've been brought up, you know, in London and, and all, all his friends are very much from London. You know, they're, they're black, they're white, they're this, they're all religions. So what you do know? you think you hope people will take away from the film then? From that side? Well, firstly, be entertained. I think it's a very entertaining movie, especially the, the music. You know, great, great soundtrack. But I think also, you know, the, it will provoke, you know, thoughts of, you know, what does it mean to be at a crossroads in your life that everyone has experienced where you either follow your dreams or not? And what are the compromises of each? And, you know, um, and essentially, you know, what does it mean to be yourself? You know? Yeah, is that Yeah, I th you know, I think the themes in it are quite universal. But, I th you know, Having said that, I think there are, there are elements within the story and within the dialogue which I think um, are, are deliberately there, which I think are, are there to provoke uh, debate and question people. Also, I feel that you know they, they could only be really said by 
someone you know an Asian character and, and, a, and an Asian a director writer because if you know some of those lines were said or um, uh, delivered or, you know or created by someone who's non-Asian they'd probably be accused of being racist or whatever but I feel very confident that actually the majority of people have those feelings and, and those thoughts and so they feel I feel comfortable to, to air them in a film like this and and I think you know, those are the things that I think people go away and, and, and think about. And, that, and it's not one-sided either. I think it comes from both sides, where, you know, Ash's character is feeling like he's very much part of London culture, but he's sometimes reminded that he may not be, you know, by the way he's treated by the police or, you know, the woman at the party, okay. uh, you know, things like that. Okay, well, we'll leave it there. Thank you very much. I really enjoyed the film, and I'm sure everybody else would. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Nice to Okay. Thanks. Cheers. Thank you. Oh, la, la. Thank you.